Welcome to part two of the compilation for the quarter album fill series where I am putting together the compilation of the quarters added to this album. I did one uh, quarter per short and this is just a compilation of those. We're going to be doing episodes 51 through 99 in this compilation. And uh, once I finish filling up the album completely, I might do one big long compilation with all the quarters, all the upgrades, just all together. All right, well, I do hope you enjoy part two. And if you haven't watched part one, I'll put a link to that. And uh, feel free to enjoy, sit back, relax, and uh, check out the quarters being added to the album. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Do hope you enjoy. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Boom. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay. Time for another quarter. Been heavy on the cloud because I have a lot more cloud to put in here than silver left. But let's put in a silver quarter. 1954. This one has pretty good details. Let's check the back. Ooh, the back is a little bit worn, but this is a San Francisco. Let's put this 1954 to San Francisco in its slot. Okay, 1954S. Drop it in here. And there we go. That's another silver quarter for the album. It's always a beautiful sight to see that silver in that album. Very awesome. Time for another quarter. This time we're going back to the 70s. 1973 out of Denver. Got some pretty decent detail. And again, I found most of these in circulation, so that is pretty nice for a circulated quarter from 1973. Back has still some nice details. This would be a great spot fill until we find them upgrades. Here we go. Let's drop this quarter in its spot. It's always a good feeling to fill a spot in your album and add one more coin to your collection. May not be the best, but filling a spot is a great feeling. I've been leaning more on the clad lately, but I can't stay away from the silver, so let's put a second silver in this week. We're gonna go all the way back to the oldest silver I got. It is a slick one. It is a 1935 Slick Denver. That thing is slip and slide slick. Awesome, let's slick that slick sucker in the slot. 1935, slick silver sliding right in the slot. Awesome. It's time to put another quarter in a quarter album. Today, we're going to put in a proof. This is a 1994 proof. Let me pop it out of here and we'll stick it in the book. Here we go. This is a nice clad proof. It has a little bit of toning on the reverse. The obverse has a tiny bit of cloudiness on it, but that does happen to proofs over time sometimes. Well, let's drop it in. All right, here we go. Let's drop it in here. And there we go. A nice, beautiful quarter to go in the album. Today, we're going to put a... 1979D clad quarter in our album. This one is a little rough and dirty. Again, I got most of these out of circulation. Um, working on getting some upgrades. Um, I will get a hold of those at some point and we will upgrade a lot of these quarters, especially these circulated ones. But you know, when you fill up an album, you usually start with what you have and then you work on getting it to a nice upgraded level to wherever you like it. All right, let's put this 1970 out of Denver in the album. All right, this is the last spot in the corner of this page. And it now has a quarter in it. Nice. We'll be looking for an upgrade for that one for sure. But it's great to fill a spot for now. Let's put a silver in a quarter album today. I have... In 1962, it's got a little bit of circulation on it, but it is in pretty nice shape. Still has some 
a little bit of luster on it there. This one is a Denver. Let's add another silver quarter to the quarter album. The 1962 Philadelphia is one of the nicer ones in the album. And we're going to put in a decent 1962 out of Denver here. Not as nice as the one right next to it, but it still has some detail. And it's pretty nice silver quarter. All right, let's do another silver quarter. Today, we're going to go way back with a slick one. 1943. This one is a bit rough. This one is a Philly. This one has definitely seen its circulation days. Um, we're going to fill the spot. And eh, one day I might get a nicer 1943. But until then, we're filling spots. There's the spot. And there's another silver for our album. Filling spots is awesome. It's time to put another quarter in the quarter album, and today we're going to go with the 1973 proof. This one is in pretty nice shape. Let's pop it out of here, take a good look at it, and then stick it in the album. All right, let's take a good look at this. It's nice coins. You want to be careful handle them by the edges or use gloves. Pretty nice obverse. Let's see here. There is a little bit of some toning around the outside. Um, I got this from my local coin shop and I believe he, he gets them from albums that people turn in. So pretty nice indeed. Let's put it in a slot. And there we have it. A nice, beautiful proof in the album. Okay, I've grabbed a coin out of my stack here to put in the album. I haven't looked at it yet. Here's the reverse. This is a clad. Let's see what year we're putting in. 1995 out of Denver. Nice. This one does have some pretty good details there. Does have a little bit of scratching on the cheek, but can't beat a nice detailed quarter. Let's add it to the album. All right, here we go. Let's pop this quarter in and fill it in the spot. Album is filling up nicely. Today, we're going to go back to 1963 and put a pretty decent... 1963 quarter in the quarter album. This one does have a little bit of circulation wear on it, but it is still a pretty decent quarter. So we're gonna fill this in the spot. Ooh, man, look at that nice proof behind here on our next page. But this page has a hole and we're going to drop that 63 in there. Very cool indeed. A nice silver edition for the album. Quarter album time, clad time. 1988 out of Denver. Again, I got this out of circulation, so it has some circulation marks, a little bit dirty surfaces, but overall, it's pretty nice coin to come out of circulation. We're going to add this to the album and fill another spot. If we keep filling spots, we're going to have to run out of open spots and have to start upgrading and this one is pretty decent but definitely could use an upgrade but that's a pretty decent spot filled to find out of circulation today on a quarter album fill time i've got another proof this is a pretty nice 1981 s that has a little bit of toning on it this is a type one there in 1981, there was a Type 1 and Type 2. The Mint Mark S is a clear and a non-clear type. Um, this is a pretty nice one with some nice toning on it. This will be fun to put in the album. Let's find its spot. This album only has one spot for proofs in 1981. And wow, oh wow, look at the toning on this. Man, the camera it just isn't doing it justice. But whoo, boy, that is beauty. Oh, look at that nice little purple around the outside. Oh, 
Nice. This is a very beautiful addition to the album. Oh man, that is a nice, beautiful coin in the album. I'm going to be hard pressed to find a better coin than the 1981 proof I just put in there. But today we're going to put in a 1944 silver. This is a little slick. This is a Philadelphia. And while not a very beautiful coin, silver in your album is always a beautiful thing. Okay, here is the spot that's open. Here is the 44 going in there. Silver quarter in the album. Very cool and awesome coin. Today we got something special. I was able to pick up some quarters to fill some of the spots that I didn't have in my stack from MTN Vaults. Very special thank you to MTN Vaults. We're gonna do one of these quarters today. And uh, some of them look pretty nice, but we're gonna save some of these for later. Today we got a very special quarter. And this is 1932 out of San Francisco. This is a key date. The first key date that's gonna go in the album. Only key date I have here, but it's a little toasty in spots, but it's a key date. And hard to find at that. And here we go. 1932S. Key date. Going in the album. This one is one I cannot afford in high in a high condition. But anytime you can put a key date, especially a low mintage one, in your album, it's an awesome day. Thank you very much, MTM Vaults, for sending me these coins. Today, we got something special. I was able to pick up some quarters to fill some of the spots that I didn't have in my stack from MTN Vaults. Very special thank you to MTN Vaults. We're gonna do one of these quarters today. And uh, some of them look pretty nice, but we're gonna save some of these for later. Today we got a very special quarter. And this is 1932 out of San Francisco. This is a key date. The first key date that's gonna go in the album. Only key date I have here, but it's a little toasty in spots, but it's a key date and hard to find at that. And here we go, 1932S, key date, going in the album. This one is one I cannot afford in high in a high condition, but any time you can put a key date, especially a low mintage one, in your album, it's an awesome day. Thank you very much, MTM Vaults, for sending me these coins. Okay, next coin, next quarter we're gonna put in this album, Another one from MTM Vaults. This is 1946 out of Philly. Let's pop it out of this plastic and take a look. Okay, here we go. This one is pretty nice. Has some nice definition on it. Got a few scrapes. Looks like it has some splutches of toning on it. Pretty nice overall condition. Let's stick it in here and fill another silver quarter slot. Very cool indeed. A little crooked. I'm probably fix that. Let's just keep doing silver quarters all week. I still got I got plenty from MTN vaults. Thank you very much for sending me these. We're gonna reach in and pull out a random one of these in here, and we're gonna put it in. What did we get? What did we get? Uh, 1941. 1941 out of Denver. Very nice. Very last spot down here at the bottom of the page. Let's put this quarter in. And there's another silver quarter for the album. Very awesome. Let's grab another silver out of this bag for the album. Let's see what we got. This is hard to do with a nice cotton glove on here. What do we get? We got two. One will be today, one will be tomorrow. 1942? I'm gonna hide this one. If you saw the date, don't ruin it for everyone else. 1942 out of Denver, and then tomorrow we'll do the next one. And here we go, 1942 out of Denver. Take one more look at it. It's a little slick, but slick silver is better than no silver. And silver fits so nicely in the album. Awesome, awesome. Okay, Friday's coin. If you saw this one come out the bag yesterday, let's see what date we got. 1944. This one 
is a San Francisco. How about that? Nice silver quarter to round off the week with. Let's stick this in the album and fill another silver quarter spot. All right, here we go. Here we go, 1944S silver quarter filling spots and looking nice. It's a little slick, but still silver. It's time for another quarter in our quarter album. Today we have a beautiful toned proof here. This one has some nice blues and a purple there, but wait till you see the reverse. And wow, look at that. Look at that amazing tone on the reverse. This one is a beautiful, beautiful proof, and we're going to stick it in the album. Okay, here is the spot. We're going to very, very carefully put it in here. I mean, I'm going to put it reverse up just because I like the reverse face. And there we go. What a beautiful proof to fill a spot in the album. Okay, let's put a quarter in our quarter album. Today, we're going to get a silver toned. 1960 has some very nice toning the dark colors on the Liberty is coming through a bit harsher on the camera than it is in person it has a bit more of a purpley tone to it up there all right and the reverse doesn't have as quite as much tone on it but this one is a Philadelphia so let's put this one in the album okay here we go Nice, nice, beautiful rainbow obverse coin there on a 1960, filling a spot. That is a beauty, and it's silver to boot. What's next for the quarter album? Let's do a beautiful, pretty almost blast white, 1957. This one has a couple of dings, but it is a pretty nice, high-grade... Well, probably a low mint state. Very nice coin. Let's put this in there. Okay, here is the coin. And we're going to fill this another spot with another beautiful silver. That uh, is a blast white, almost completely blast white, nice silver quarter. What's next for a quarter album? Let's do another beautifully toned proof. Man, look at the colors on that. That is gorgeous. 1983S proof. And the back just gets better. Wow, look at that. That is some beautiful color on that. It's got that nice deep mirror fields of a proof, but you hit the light and bam, you get hit with some beautiful color tones. Let's put this in the album. Okay, here we go. I'm going to drop this in the space spot and gently push it in that one popped in nicely and easily 1983 beautiful proof should i have put this one reverse up let me know in the comments below i don't think i'm going to pull it out to switch it over though it's time for another quarter to go on our quarter album we had some really nice pretty proofs last week let's put in a silver quarter today they got a 1949 this one is a little slick um this one is a Philadelphia. So let's slot this in for now. And uh, I'll, I will upgrade it at some point. And here we go. Down at the bottom of page two. We have another silver quarter fill. That is pretty nice. Has a little bit of detail. But at some point will be upgraded. Next up on our quarter album fill. We have a 1941 with some interesting tone on it. Um, some dark spots, tone spots all over it. It is decent shape, but uh, it has some nice tone around the bottom there. Let's put this in a 1941 spot. This one is out of Philly. And here we go at the bottom of page one. Let's put this in. That one is it looks a lot nicer in person than it is picking it up on the camera, but can't go wrong with a nice old tone silver. Next quarter on our quarter album, Phil, we have 
1951 out of Denver. This one is going to fill a spot. It has some decent detail on it. Um, surfaces look a little bit dirty in spots. A little wear on the reverse. Um, this one probably eventually get filled, uh, re, uh, upgraded once we get all the spots filled with what we have on hand. Let's put this in for now and fill another silver quarter spot. And here we have 1951 out of Denver. That is another silver quarter in the album. It's always a good day when you get that silver. What's next for the quarter album? It is uh, 1945. This one has a little bit of detail. It is a little worn. This one is in Philly. Again, we are filling the album with what we have on hand, and then we will work on upgrades after that. So let me stick this in the album and fill another spot. Okay, here we go. 1945 out of Philly. Pop that in there. And put another silver quarter in the album. Finishing up our album this week with one more spot. We have a 1942 with some pretty nice uh, old ammo toning on it. This one is a San Francisco. It is worn, but it does have some nice little uh, old tone on it. Original toned skin quarter there. Here we go. And pop that in. That's a really nice 1942S. A little slick, but some nice tone on that coin. It's time to put another quarter in a quarter album. I've got a bunch of quarters up here, a bunch of client quarters that I just got in. A lot of really nice ones. We're going to put those in the album um, just so I can get them out of the way, and we will go from there. This first one we have is a pretty nice 1977 out of Denver. It does have a little dirt on the top there, but it has some nice tone, has some great details. The back is amazing, high quality coin here. Let's put this in the slot and we will keep going with all these uh, clads for a little bit. Well, there's one in here, so it looks like this is gonna be our first upgrade. This one is in much better shape than the one that's in there. So let me pop that out and we will Get this one in, and there we have it. A nice clad quarter in the album. Nice, let's get some more in there. It's time for another quarter and a quarter album. We got another clad from this set of quarters I got. It's a 1987 out of Philly. This one is really nice, really nice shape. It's got plenty of good detail. This is a nice uncirculated coin. Back looks great. Let's put this in and fill another spot. All right, here we go. That is a very nice uncirculated coin to go in our album. How about that? That is definitely going to be hard to beat. Time for another quarter to go in our quarter album. Uh, today and tomorrow, we're going to do the 1978 Philly and Denver. This one has some nice tone on it. It's great shape. This one is the Philly. And we're going to put this one in and then we'll do the Denver tomorrow. Um, the tone is, is light, but it is got some nice colors on it. Here we go. This is the Philly. Boom. Nice. Nice 1978. Very nice. Next up is the Denver. Today for our quarter album, Phil, it's the 78 out of Denver. This one has some nice toning around the outside, a little bit of magenta, purplish, bluish in the middle there. Some nice um, yellow, orangey around the outside. The back has some nice color on it. This one is a very beautiful coin. Let's put this in the album. Okay, here is the spot. Let's put this coin in. And there we have it, another beautiful coin in the album. Okay, what is next for our album? Let's see what I have here. It is a 1974 out of Denver. It's got a little dirt spots on it, um, but it is in pretty nice shape overall. 
pretty good for a 1970s. Here we go, right above the uh, bicentennial proof there. We have a pretty nice 1974 out of Denver. We are still working on our Clag coins here. 1980 out of Philly. This one is really nice. It does have some um, surface, uh, looks like either some milk spots or, or uh, some water splashed on there and dried on it. Otherwise, this is in really, really beautiful shape. Well, let's put this in this 1980 slot. Okay, here we go. 1980, getting the spot filled with a nice, nice quarter. All right, let's put another clad in our quarter album and then we'll put some silver in here. We'll go back to some silver. So I got a pretty nice 1979. This one has some pretty good detail. Um, it's got a couple scratches on it, a couple dings, but you know, it's 1979. Um, pretty good shape. Looks like the obverse is slightly misaligned. Um, then the reverse, let's take a look. And there it is. The reverse looks pretty nice. Lots of detail, maybe a little ding or two there. Let's put this in the album. All right, let's stick this in the slot. Fill another spot. 1979, out of Philly. Pretty nice coin. It's time for another quarter in our quarter album. And we got a really nice silver and it's an old one. 1935 it has some nice detail on it has a little dirt on the surface unfortunately but it is a nice 1935 this one is out of san francisco this is probably going to be the nicest oldest coin to go in the album well, let's put it in there and fill another spot all right here we go that is a really nice really old quarter how about that? That is an awesome silver quarter. I've got another awesome coin from the coin shop. This one is a 1943. That is a beautiful old coin. Really nice detail. Really nice luster. This one is from Philly. And I believe this is going to be an upgrade. Let's check out the old one. But this is a really nice find from the coin store. Yep, there we are. That is a definite upgrade. Let's pop in this nice BU quarter and take a look at the album. Okay, here we go. Let's pop this in. And there we have it. Here's the old one. And here is the new one. That is beautiful, beautiful upgrade. Another coin shop find. Another beautiful silver. This is a very beautiful, lustrous 1961. Very high, shiny, quality Denver 1961. Let's pop this in the album and make the album even better than it already is. Here we go. Let's drop that in there and take a good look. Had that beautiful BU 1961 out of Denver. That is very, very nice. Man, this album's just getting better and better. I've got another silver quarter to go in the album. And while not as nice as the past few we put in here, this is a 1952. Has a little bit of detail, has some interesting, fun tone around the outside there. This one is a San Francisco, it's a little slick. This one will be one that will be upgraded as soon as I get a better 1952S. But let's fill the spot for now. And here we go. Let's pop that in and take a look. We have a nice 1952 with some nice tone on it to hold the spot until we get a nicer coin in there. It's time to add some more quarters to our album. We got a pretty nice 1970 here. This one is a Philly. It does have some nice detail. Still has some of that luster a little bit. Well, let's go ahead and pop this in the album. All right, here's the spot. Let's drop that in. 
another nice spot filled in our album. And there we have it. Not a perfect coin, but still really, really good for a 50-year-old coin there. It, it will fill the spot nicely until we get an upgrade. Today's quarter is a nice one. 1963. This one's in pretty good shape. It has a few little dings on it, but overall, a very nice, beautiful 1963 out of Denver. Let's check the one we have and see if we have an upgrade. Let's get a quick up close comparison. You can see there is more detail in the hair, even though this has some rim dings on it. I think it has more detail and is a cleaner example. So here we go. I drop that in the spot and pop it in there. There we have it. Nice upgrade. I wish it didn't have those dings. And then it would be a super high grade one, definitely. Really nice, it's hard to get in the light. Today's quarter to go in the album. It's a little dirty. It is a 1992 out of Denver, but it still has pretty good detail. Not perfect, but it will fill the spot nicely until we get a nice one. Uh, that's what we're doing. We're filling it up the album with coins I have, the nicest coins I have, and we will slowly upgrade as I find better ones. So let's pop this in the slot for now. Okay, here we go. It's another spot filled with a decent coin that we will hopefully find a nice upgrade for soon, right next to a Philly. Album's filling up nicely, but does need some upgrades in places. Today, we are going to add a nice proof to the album here. This is a nice 1996 proof with some nice tone on it. It's not very deep, and vibrant but it is some nice colors not quite showing up on the camera it has some blue on it and some yellow but let's pop this in the slot fill another spot well this album has spots for the silver proofs and the regular proofs so i guess i better start looking for some silver proofs but until then let's pop this proof in and take a nice look at it because that is another beautiful quarter for the album very, very nice. Today's quarter for the album, we have a 1960 in beautiful shape. It's almost completely blast white there, but it has some great details and is in great shape. Oh man, that is a nice one there. That is a nice one. Oh, this is going to be a tough choice. Here's the old one. It has some beautiful tone on the obverse, but it looks like the surface is not the cleanest. Here is the new one, much cleaner surfaces, a very beautiful coin. And this one just has more detail, is in a nicer shape. I think the back clinches it. Looks like we have an upgrade, a very nice, beautiful upgrade there but I will be keeping the other one in my collection because it is still a beautiful coin. It's time for another quarter to go on our quarter album. And today we have a gorgeously toned 1987 proof. It has some beautiful blues on the top, some gold at the bottom, and the back is just stunning. Again, it's got the blues at the bottom, which is the top of the obverse, and the gold at the top. Looks like almost like a sunset over water on the back. Very cool. Let's put this in the album. Here we go. Pop that in. And a beautifully toned, wonderful proof. How about that? Another great fill. Time for another quarter in our quarter album. Today we're going clad with a 95 out of Philly. This one has some circulation marks. I did get it out of circulation, but it is still in nicer condition. This is one that will be upgraded at some point when I find a better one. Okay, let's pop this in here. We've been putting in some really, really nice quarters lately, but I don't, I'm running out of those. So I have to go back to filling spots with 
the circulated coins that I have found until I get some more ultra nice ones. Another spot fill, fill the spot in the album, which is always nice, and an upgrade to look forward to, which is always a good feeling when you upgrade that quarter to a nicer one. But still, nice spot fill for now. We got another gorgeous proof for our album today. This is another tone proof with some nice colors on it. And on the obverse, it has some very beautiful colors. It is a 1978. And we are going to drop this in the spot. Okay, here we go. We've got a couple more proofs left. So we're going to be popping some of those in. And this one is another beautiful tone on a nice deep cam quarter and another nice spot fill. Today we have a nice silver coin for our quarter album. This one is a Philly and it is a silver 1955 with some beautiful luster and some nice details. Let's compare to the one we have in there. The one we have in here is pretty nice. Let me pop that out and we will compare them. Here's the one that we had in there. Has a little tone on it. Has a little mark on the cheek there. And here's the new one. A bit more white and doesn't have a mark on the cheek. Okay, let's take a look at this reverse here. Very nice reverse. So is this one. I think I'm gonna upgrade. The obverse looks better. The reverses kind of look the same. So again, here's the other one. It's got that mark on the cheek and this one is a bit cleaner so we are going to upgrade the spot it's not a huge upgrade but it has less dings and it is a nice quarter all around today's quarter for the album we have a beautifully toned 1982 proof quarter this has some gorgeous toning the back is probably perfect the front has a few spots on it probably from being in a previous album. But let's pop this in the slot. This will definitely make another great spot filled. And here we have the 1982 proof spot. Let's pop that in gently and we'll take a good look at it. That is a pretty, pretty nice proof coin. This is episode 99 of Quarter album fill. Today we have a beautiful 1995 proof. This one I got from the coin show. I'm going to put this in the album. And do stay tuned. Episode 100 got something special going on. So make sure you watch the next episode. Episode 100. But let's stick this in there for now. I got that nice deep cameo finish on this thing. Here we go. Uh, gently push this one in and there we have another beautiful proof going in the album and i want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel i very very much appreciate it if anyone is interested in becoming a member feel free to check out the link below again thank you very much for your support